witchcraft and today guess which craft we're going to make we are going to be making these sun catchers beautiful sun catchers that can hang from a tree outside from a window from a light fixture chandelier from a hook in the corner of a bedroom or a living room you can see you've got quite a few behind us here we've mm -hmm. done them in all different kinds this one is a very shiny blingy one and that one has a little bit more personality with with uh little this one has little bunny butterflies beans. and bunnies and things so you can even do them with a theme to them for someone if you're giving them away as a gift so with that lisa will get started yeah some of the tools that we've we're you're going to need are basically large beads and one of the things when you get into a really large bead, sometimes it's really difficult to find them in glass. Um, these are acrylic and they actually have as much shine as anything else. So it, it doesn't matter. These are a dyed agate that I'm using here. Um, and I believe most of these here are also acrylic, but they do shine. And if you're going to have it outside, it's something that will it'll last outside. The glass ones do too. I would have definitely not use a wood bead because with rain, if you're gonna have it out in the weather, that tends to be a problem. So um, the other thing you're gonna need are these prisms. Now these you can find on Amazon. They're really reasonable depending on, we, I'll put a link um, on our page to where uh, I got these that, that are, come in a lot of different shapes. It depends on what you want and they catch the sun and they just, Throw rainbows all over your kitchen, yeah. so that's really nice. So yeah, you guys should see my kitchen floor is just sparkle and rainbows everywhere. So um, the other thing, very cool, Almighty fish line, gotta have that. So always a fish line. Yep. Okay, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna start at the bottom here. So we've I've cut a piece. Oh, I've two, three feet. You know, there's plenty on the spool, so no shortage of fish line here. Yeah. So we're gonna start with the bottom. And I've chosen this particular prism. So what I'd like to do is we're gonna thread it through and we're just gonna tie it. Um, I always do go around twice to make sure it's a really strong knot. And just so you guys know before we uh, turn the cameras on, we kind of pre-selected our beads and laid them out in the order that we think um, that we want to string them just to save a little bit of time. You can do that ahead of time or not. It's completely up to you, but uh, Believe me, it took us a few minutes to do this because we were randomly kind of put them in it, putting them in and oh no This one needs to move over here. So we it takes a few minutes to really get it lined up the way you want it mm -hmm. But once it's done, it's really easy to just thread it through so because this is a really easy easy sun catcher Yeah, so and I clearly already tied mine on because y'all know me with my eyesight so okay so I've got this tied on and yes there's a little bit of a tail and I'll show you what I'm going to do with that after the first bead so I've got this all lined up I'm making a purple one for my daughter because her room is purple so I, I chose a larger bead for the first bead and I'll, this is why this little tail that's hanging on here you can clip it off but it's always going to be there so I like to kind of thread it through the low, the first bead and then clip it off because that way it kind of keeps it in place so it's not just hanging out by the, and you can go through the second bead and third bead depending on how long you have it. But that, see how that's going through there? I'm gonna clip it down a little bit so I don't have to go through five beads. So that's the first bead and then we're just gonna continue on with our setup. Right. Sally's got some beautiful blue and green going on here. I've seen her kitchen decor for spring in that color. It's a really nice combination <laughs> of colors. Yeah, I, I'm kind of, I'm a Pisces guy, so I'm definitely a, a, a water creature, and I love all things beachy and watercolors, and aquas and teals and greens are some of my favorite color combinations, so I come by it honestly, so... I found these beads, um, I like something that has a little bit of iridescence to it, so that's why I'm using this particular bead here that has kind of an abalone shell feel to it. I love and those. 
Aurora Borealis type it's thing. It's going to be really pretty. The transparent beads are really nice in the sun because they really sparkle. But then you're having a few, um, like this one, which is a dyed agate, it, it's a little darker, but it tends to give it a little bit of contrast rather than having everything be you know, totally clear. So. Mm -hmm. And I know that I'm going to hang mine in my kitchen window or on my patio door in the sunlight, so I definitely wanted um, more clear beads that are just going to send some color through my kitchen. So that's why I chose this. Yeah, I know so. my daughter's going to have hers in her bedroom window, so... Which is more about color go. than it is about about right. sparkle as much. And you guys, you can make, you can make these as short or as long as you want too. I mean, if you just want a little one for you know a kitchen window, or if you want them really long, like some of the ones we did back there for in trees or whatever, you can do as much or as little as you want. You know, I've even seen really short ones that are about this big that people are using to put on a ceiling fan. Um, or uh, the pull chain. That that mm -hmm. would be neat, or a light fixture. That would be really pretty. Hanging from a lamp, hanging from the chandelier over your kitchen table, and just let the prisms. My sister mm -hmm. has one, and the prisms all over her kitchen table are are beautiful, and it just kind dangles a little going. bit when she's got the patio door open. So that's kind of neat. No. So oh, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say this. A lot of these purple ones that I had. Some of them were on strands that you get, just you know, hanging strands like this. Um, and then a lot of these acrylic ones, though, come in a, in a box. It's more of a, a variety pack, which is kind of nice because you can do a little bit more of a, like a random piece. And I think I got those at Hobby Lobby, but I believe they ha also have them at Michaels. And probably so, even on Amazon. I mean, oh, yeah. You can get anything on Amazon nowadays. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah, but Amazon is really dangerous. They make yeah. it really easy for you to just click and buy. There you go. It's at your house. So. I know. It's, when we were in the lockdown, I was buying a lot of stuff on Amazon because all the stores were closed, couldn't get shopping, and I was itching to do something. I wasn't working, wasn't so I had to craft. So mm -hmm. Amazon and some of those online ordering places were my best friend for a couple of months. Thank goodness, at least knock there's... on wood for right now, we're over that, or at least now everything's open back up, and we're still trying our social distancing, <laughs> we're doing the best we can. Yeah, we're around each other enough that we know we're Yeah, <laughs> we're... So, like we're family. <laughs> yeah. So, but We yes. trust each other because we were both wearing masks and gloves and staying six <laughs> feet apart for a couple of months working on this, so yeah. we both trust that the other that we don't have anything. So in case you're wondering about us, guys, Lisa and I have been friends for quite a while. Um, 20 years almost. Um, I don't know if you know this, but we're also interior decorators and mural artists. We've done many murals together. Mm -hmm. We've done um, worked on many homes together doing interior decorating as well. And besides that, we have a and love of crafting. Staging. Yep, yeah, home <laughs> staging. So we used to get together, just the two of us, and craft and do this. And... Um, Hold that thought, guys. <laughs> We're back. Mm -hmm. Continuing. Sorry. <laughs> I let my dog out. So anyway, we did home staging. We did um, all kinds of things together. And then we used to get together and just craft, just the two of us. And we would make all kinds of different things. And once Most, or twice a year, we, we started for the holiday. Fair. Yeah, we do a holiday craft fair. Um, and that was really successful. It got bigger and bigger every year. And... The thing I like about the two of us is we have very different tastes. So we kind of challenge each other and teach each other. I'm a floral designer. Um, Lisa's a painter. So our crafts are very different from each other. So we learn each other's things. and Yeah, but I think uh, we, well, what I don't see, she sees vice versa. So mm -hmm. I mean, we both have a, an uh, interesting eye that we bring to the table. So yeah, a different, different opinion different taste levels and mm -hmm. that's why witchcraft was formed because um our stuff is so different lisa's a little bit more artistic my stuff's a little more kitschy i guess or cutesy or 
No, the, Sally's, Sally has a lot of really wonderful ideas as far as uh, creative floral arranging and um, craft that she does. So we'll get into some more of that as we go forward here. Yeah. So this one is not wanting to come out the other end. Um, I have to switch the bead. Yeah. Um, so when you're finished, what I've done is I found the, the crystals, actually the prisms come with a little ring. And so I'm using that ring to tie onto the end of the, the piece here. And once I have that tied like this, then I can just use like a Christmas tree hanger to hang it from the tree or hang it from my window or whatever I choose. And that is Trisha's, and Sally is just finishing up on hers. Finishing up, I'm like, can't play. Can't walk and chew gum at the same time either. <laughs> I talk too much, but. Um, no, looking good. Yeah. And let us know, guys, if you're interested in um, having us show you some interior design work or some tablescapes, mantelscapes, um, Christmas tree decorating. As it gets a little closer, we'll be doing a lot of uh, ornaments and things that we do for our craft fairs as well. Um, it's going to run the gamut. There's going to be everything. You're going to do some painting. Right? Some alcohol ink. That's my new thing that I like to do. I'm really involved with fluid art lately, especially on furniture pieces. So that's something else that we might be touching upon. So we'll, we'll see a lot of different things in our in our feed. So keep an eye out and come back and visit us. Yeah, be sure to uh, to share um, with your friends and everything too. That's just, I think they call it sprinkling. Um, but yeah, please share, please follow, please comment. Well, you know, if you see something you like, don't like, if you want to see us make something else or change something or do a different version of it, let us know. If you didn't quite get something that we were doing, um, please let us know. You know, we'll we'll comment or we'll slow down. Um, you know, we watch a lot of videos too, mm -hmm. and we'll definitely answer any questions that you've got. Yeah, so. I think our biggest frustration is just sitting sometimes waiting for paint to dry with people. Um, you know, it's I don't know about you, but we have busy lives, so we don't always have that kind of time. So we try to go a little quicker or circumvent some of that so you're not just sitting watching paint dry or whatever. But if we're going too fast for you, please let us know. We're happy to slow down, explain things, uh, you know, send you a different demo or whatever the case is. So that's really looking pretty. All right. So I think I'm just about done here. I wasn't able to put that pretty crystal that I wanted in the middle because the whole for some reason didn't come out the other end, so I really wanted that in the middle. But this is what we have, guys. It's still gonna look really awesome yeah. in my kitchen window. And we just need to finish up the top. And just tie that knot. Tie that on. And that. did you want a crimp bead? You can do, I tied a knot on it, but you can also use a crimp bead if you'd like. You could put a crimp bead on for me. I don't know how to do a crimp bead. Oh, well, here, let's try that. Because okay. I tied the knot, and we'll do one with a crimp bead. Okay. So you got that. Oh. She's a jewelry maker, too, guys. So um, some yeah, of I the, love bracelets. Yeah, <laughs> some of the uh, things are going to be uh, some lessons in jewelry. She makes amazing jewelry in all different types. So that will definitely be um, some of the lessons as well. Yeah, I've got to, I did some things on... Um, Drilling river rocks, those are really fun to do. So let's see here. Mm -hmm. That needs to go there. Okay. I like bracelets. The crimp loop beads goes in, and then you put the loop on, and then you put it right back through the crimp bead like that. Aha. Uh -huh. There you go. That's the secret. And then is this the crimping tool? Yes. Yep. That's just I just squeeze it? Mm hmm. Did I do it? Tight. Mm -hmm. and there you go. Just have to cut the extra thing off. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put it on my handy dandy little hanger here. And do that. I'll grab the. Shoot. Get See, this. teamwork makes the dream work, guys. There you go. There you go. What do y'all think? I think it's beautiful. 
So make your own. Please show us what you made and how they turned out. I can't wait to see. And we will see you next time. Tune in and see which craft we do next time. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.